Today we're going and we're going to finally fix the White Sox. Because apparently the real gym of that team can't do it. I've gotten hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments through the White Sox. And today we're finally doing it. Not to mention I opened up Twitter today. Now see this. I think we got to do it now. I think we have to. So for Kenny and the rest of the White Sox fans, we got to help you guys out here. Let's get this team back on track. Let's take this AL Central. Come on. I honestly don't know what to think about this offense. They're not that bad on paper. They really aren't. And I did tweet this a couple days ago. The White Sox are getting absolutely destroyed by that decent on paper, terrible on the field curse. The same thing that's killing the Cardinals right now. If you look at their team top to bottom, it's not that bad. Like, for real, it's not that bad. Andrew Benatendi, pretty overpaid, but overall for an outfielder, not terrible. Alessandro's not bad, but again, passes prime, so you're really not going to expect that much. Under Luis Robert, this is the dude that has to carry this squad if they want to win. Right here, Lou Bob. We got to do better. He's got to stay healthy for one, and two, he's got to actually be ready to carry. And based off how the dude's playing, what he looks like on the field, he doesn't really look all the way bought in right now, which again, for a team that's 7-21 right now, I do understand it, but he needs to carry this squad. Next up, another pillar to this entire team, Eloy Jimenez. My guy has been injured since, I mean, basically every single season. I want to see what the guy can actually do on a full healthy year, because 2019 Eloy was something different. Gavin Sheets, it's whatever. I think he could be good, but we'll see. Then from there, Andrew Vaughn could be the heart of this team. He's only 24 years old, so he's got some time, but I got to see a step up from 2022 this year. I really hope he doesn't regress. Then after that, we got Yasmani Grand Dahl, Jake Berger, and Hanser Alberto. I'm not really expecting much out of those dudes. Then on the bench, Oscar, Sebi, and then, yeah, just, you know. They seem to have a little bit of a depth issue, if I had to be honest. Now, I will say, I'm not going to be completely unfair. They're dealing with a lot of injuries right now. Tim Anderson's got to come back. Liam Hendricks, I'm so happy for this dude. I'm so happy that he's going to be coming back eventually. Young Makata as well, down in AAA. Garrett Crochet with Tommy John surgery. So there's a lot of injuries on this team that actually need to be addressed. Once these guys are healthy, I hope and pray that they can do just a little bit better. On to the pitching. We got the Dylan Cease, Lance Lynn, Lucas Giolito, Michael Kopik, and Mike Clevenger. Top three, even top four, could be very, very good. Lights out. The Clevenger pickup has got to be one of the dumbest things I've ever seen, though. Paying this dude 12 million to give you a five ERA. That's basically what you're doing. He could definitely go off towards the second half, but I just don't see this guy really being all that fantastic. I'm sorry. It's been a long time since Cleveland, and I really don't feel like he's the same pitcher. So we 100% got to fix that. After that, the bullpen, it's not looking that bad. There's a lot of good names here. There's a lot of guys on this team that I personally love, but the overall are freaking terrible. Let's see what we can do though. I need to see us off to a very hot start and that's not what I'm looking for. And of course, the first trade that I get offers from the Cardinals. Down bad team to down bad team and they're offering Taylor Motter for Eric Hernandez. Yeah, you gotta be out of your mind, dude. The Red Sox go out and get Tyler Steph. I hate everything. If I knew that he was available, I would've gone for him. That dude actually is so freaking good. Why? Why was he on the block? Why the heck would the Reds trade him? I got no clue. Either way, it is time to bring back all of our boys. Tim Anderson and Young McCoy to get back up here, please, and let's help save this squad. Past Joseph our breakdown going towards the deadline. We are 42 and 56. The Central never fails to amaze me. Lineup, what the heck is happening? Tim Anderson off to a terrible start, by the way. Ben Attendi, solid. Luis Robert, thank goodness for you. Eloy, not bad. Andrew Vaughn, not bad at all. Yon, off to a pretty decent start. Sebi, Sebi's taking over for Yasmani. I'm so down bad. Oscar, there we are. And then Elvis Andrews, pretty bad. We need a freaking second baseman. We need it now. Yasmani Grandal, though. What the heck are you doing? You're a 74 already? Six home runs in a 250. How many attributes have you lost? Oh, my God. All right. Yeah, you're gone. You are done. For a dude that's like one of the highest paid catchers, you are out of your mind. I get that he's only got one year left on the contract. I don't care. We need something better. I need my new catcher, and I'm going out to the Giants. I'm getting Joey Bart. There we go. Don't even ask me why the Giants are accepting this, but I go out. I get Joey Bart. I'm feeling better now. Definitely not up to the best start in the game, but he's 26. I feel like the guy's got a lot of potential. Not to mention our catching goes from 18 point something million to 720 grand. That's something that we desperately need, especially with the budget that we got to work with right now. Next up, second base. I need to go out and get ourselves a stud. I'm thinking like a younger dude that we can actually go out and build around. Reds, why the heck are you letting me finesse this bad? The word fleecing shouldn't even be used for this. This is something above fleecing. Elvis Andrews, Eric Gonzalez, Billy Hamilton for Jonathan India and freaking Ellie De La Cruz. Why, guys? Why? Now we got a second base that for right now is struggling heavily. But again, the guy's 26. I feel like we can actually get him back on track a little bit. Right now, the doubles are looking nice. The home runs are down a little bit, but still, he's doing better technically than 2022. It's just the average is so far down. And honestly, I just feel like the guy's getting a little unlucky if I'm being 100% real. I could be wrong, but now an infielder, Andrew Vaughn, Jonathan India, Yon Mankata, and of course, Tim Anderson, I'll feel a lot better now. Offense is definitely heading into the right direction. Now, the last thing I gotta do, get rid of this garbage can, Mike Clevenger. My God. 
please. I am begging a team. Please take the guy. I will package basically anybody together. Who do I got to give up to get rid of this dude? Right there, there's our pitcher. I hate to get rid of two of those prospects that we actually are giving up. Noah and West seem very, very solid, especially for 20 years old and a 66 on West. This dude could be a dog, and I got to get rid of him. The reason why, Patrick Sandoval. Right now, he's not really doing the greatest in game, but the dude's ceiling is so ridiculously high, not to mention he's a lefty in this entire rotation. I love it. Got to get him, and just like that, we have officially fixed this rotation a little bit. Bullpen we're going to have to worry about later. The entire year is dead, basically, so it's a lost cause. Let's get a couple contract extensions, though, going. The first thing I'm doing, Lucas Giolito on his last year, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he is, okay? The guy's come back pretty good. So Giolito for 20 mil. Oh, my God. I might let that one go into the offseason because 20 mil for him? Oh, my God. To be honest, I'd rather pay the extra 10 per year and get Julio. Either way, after that, Ronaldo Lopez got to get the guy back. I don't care what the heck he wants. Four mil a year, I am down, baby. There we are. Hey, after that, though, I think we're good. All right, yeah, we're chilling. Let's go. Now, the last thing before we actually go into the second half of the year is bringing back Garrett Crochet. My dude, I am so ready to have you back. One of my favorite guys in this game. As long as he was doing what he was doing in 2021, this is going to be a fantastic addition to the bullpen. This year with the White Sox, 79 and 83. Again, not at all what any White Sox fan was expecting, especially back in 2021. I'm not gonna lie. I seriously thought back in like 2021, 2020, they were one of the next teams to have a dynasty run. But it turns out they, uh, yeah, that didn't really happen. It could possibly. We're about to do it for them. But God, I'm disappointed what the heck this team turned into. Luis Robert this year did set a record for doubles, though. My guy absolutely killed it. The guy's a 96 overall. Now, looking like a 5 tool player as Javier freaking Baez is fourth in the AL for batting average, of all things. What the heck happened there? How did that work? Either way, though, I love the progress of the team. Just need a full season with them, and I'm feeling a lot better. Now, for the offseason, I'm looking for a bullpen help, and I'm looking for a little bit of depth around that entire team. Whether it comes from the outfield, infield, whatever the heck it is, I need some more depth. So let's go ahead and actually find that. First off, though, Lucas Giolito, you still want 20 mil. You put in a good year, I'll go, you know, I'm, I'm going to do one year. I'm going to do one. Based off of what happened in 2022, I am so scared to give this guy a very nice contract. So one year, that's all you're going to get for right now, my boy. I'm sorry. Kyle May, one of my guys, 2.5 mil. Everybody else, goodbye, dude. I also may or may not have just fired the entire coaching staff. Trust me, anything is better than what the heck we just had. But give me a second, we're going to get some studs in here. For the coaches, when I said we got some stud coaches, I meant we got some studs coming over here. Kyle Snyder, the pitching coach for the Rays. Yeah, that team, the team that's always good at pitching, got him. And everybody else is looking so nice. Omar Ruiz, by the way, this dude's a stud. I really cannot wait for next year. Okay, White Sox, here we go. You guys ready? I'm ready. Aaron Nola, first guy I'm targeting. Josh Hader's the second dude. Dylan Floro next. Then we got Gio Shella, Tony Kemp, and Alex Colome. I'm not gonna lie, we are spending a lot of money this year, but after this, we shouldn't have to spend much of anything anymore. Once we get these guys, we have our guys, and we're set for a playoff push. Let's see what happens now, Aaron Nola, please don't sign. Please don't sign. Whatever you do, do not sign with the team. God dang it. Okay, never mind. Never freaking mind. Let's go ahead and go back to Lucas Giolito for a year. Let's just pretend that I didn't withdraw that contract, Lucas. Okay, let's go. It was always you. You were the first choice. 100%. Let's just get to 2024. Oh, God. And never mind. We've screwed ourselves. Good to know. Hey, this is what happens, though. We'll be fine. We still got a lot of options out here. Clayton Kershaw, Jack Flaherty, and Jordan Montgomery. Three top dudes that could join our rotation. And like I'm sure a lot of you guys already know, I like lefties, so Jordan Montgomery come on over baby come on all right guys 2024 how we feeling baby there we are seventh in rank first in contact eighth in power eighth in pitching that is so much better the team this year also looks so much better nothing really changed that much the two changes that we really made was joey bart and jonathan india besides that that's it basically at least in the lineup because the lineup has some very very good guys the rotation we just added jordan montgomery and patrick sandoval i like it guys i really do in the bullpen we lost out on dylan floro so we really didn't add that many guys but we did get josh Hader, baby that one was big for me. The only thing we got to worry about this year is Lance Lynn completely falling apart. So we're probably going to need a fifth starter this year. The good thing, I have countless, and I mean countless, amounts of third base talent right here. We got Ellie De La Cruz, a 77 overall right now. And then, of course, Colson Montgomery. I'm thinking Colson is going to be the guy that we trade away to get that pitcher. Hey, let's see what happens. I'll see you guys back here at the trade line. Let's get to it. Guys, I don't want to celebrate too early, but take a look, baby. There we go. 62 and 44. It's a great day in Chicago. The White Sox are back, baby. Is there anything? And I mean anything that we need. Let me take a look. Also, Jonathan India. There we go, baby. Get him out of Cincinnati. Get him onto a team that's winning. He's going to do amazing things. Everybody else, though, how we feeling? Andrew Vaughn. Oh, my God. 
freaking amazing, my boy. I think we should be okay. Also, Matthew Thompson took over Lance Lynn's spot. And Lance, yeah, I can see why. Matthew Thompson, how you doing, baby? There we go. The future's now. I know what we got to do. Let's go ahead and do it. Lance Lynn, go ahead and get out of here. And we're also going to go ahead and package him with Alex Colome. Let's see what the heck we can get. Possibly throwing Stephen Park as well. There we go. I'm looking for a powerhouse for a right-handed pitcher. Let me see if I can actually go out and find it. Come on. Hey, Pirates, Bednar, please. The guy's giving us a 1.56 this year. Please tell me. Please tell me. Oh, my God. And we can add more to it. I forgot that this game severely undervalues, like, bullpen help at all. I still try to get Anthony. I highly doubt we can get him. And oh, my God. There we go. All right. Cool, guys. That should definitely be a big help now. Now, to be honest, I really just want one more guy. And come on, Diamondbacks. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, we're so close. I know we have it in the bag, though. Drew Mendoza. There we are. Felix Batista now coming over here. The 300-pound killer out in the bullpen. Look how yoked this dude is. Oh, my gosh. The guy's actually diesel. 6'8", 285. I highly doubt that's real. I'm gonna check, though. And oh, my God. It's real. Okay, guys. My bad. Holy crap. All right, let's go. Now, though, first in rank, first in contact, sixth in power, which, come on. And first in pitching. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Let's see what the heck we can do. Ending off the year 95 and 67, we are back. Take on the winner of the wild card game between Boston and New York. Did we get any awards this year? And we definitely didn't. God dang it. That would have been so nice. Also, I got to point out Joey Bart. This guy went crazy this year. The average, I'll be honest, wasn't great, but everything else for a catcher, fantastic. And somehow we're facing Boston in 2024. Let's go. Who we facing first? Shohei Otani on the Red Sox. Really? Dylan sees for Shohei. Won that 12 0. Oh. Oh my God. All right, Sandoval, Garrett Whitlock. There we are. The Michael Kopik versus, I think, his former team. Am I crazy? Yeah, he was drafted by the Red Sox. So, Kopik, let's see how you do versus Chris Sale. Of course. What a movie. Kopik, come on. And he lost, of course. Jordan Montgomery versus Tanner Houck. There we are. 15 to 11. We let them score 11. Dog. Oh my God, the bullpen almost gave it up. Who the heck? Batista, no. That is now what Felix Batista does. Now into Houston. It only gets freaking easier. Dylan Cease, Luis Garcia, lost that. Patrick Sandoval, Robert Valdez, there we are. Took it back a little bit. Michael Kopik, I need a good game right here. Come on. Oh my God, 18 to 1. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you guys. Setting the tone. Dylan Cease, please. There we are. 3 1. Oh my God. Jordan Montgomery, come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh, versus the Braves in this World Series. Keep the hype going. Dylan Cease versus Max Freed. Game one. Got smacked. All right. Patrick Sandoval, Mike Soroka. There we are. Brought it back a little bit. Kopik, I need another fantastic game. There we are. Holy crap. He clutched up. 1-0. Dylan Cease versus Ian Anderson. Lost that by one. No, David. Jordan Montgomery versus a lefty. Lost that by one again. Guys, we can't be doing this. We cannot be freaking doing this. Now Chicago in Atlanta. The White Sox in Atlanta. Our backs are against the wall. Patrick Sandoval, thank you for that. At least the guy got out of it, but holy crap. What a start. And we need the hitters to do something as Matt Olson now hits a bomb. Austin Riley hits a bomb. All right, Patrick. Biggest game of your life. You're going to do that to me. Kopik, I don't care. You're going in. Please just don't you dare. Okay, thank goodness. We're down by four already, though. That's not what I was expecting. Holy crap, this team. Ronald, please get out. Thank you. He struck out. Guys, please don't let Mike Soroka deal like this. A one-hit game. Stop it, guys. There we are. One run scored. Holy crap. Gavin Sheets. Three-run bomb. And just like that, we're tied back up. And we took the lead. All right, Kopik, please. Jesus. Every time. Max Muncy, single. Why? Michael Harris Jr., walk. Why? Vaughn, Builder's Choice, then Ronald. I don't want to let this guy pitch. We're going to have to go to this insane bullpen early. Crochet, I need you more than ever right here. Struck out. Very nice. All right, guys. Please just course some more runs or not please god just do okay crochet thank goodness ben Attendi, do something you're for three there we are solo bomb eloy keep it going double gavin sheets keep it going ground out joey bart strike out luis there we are that's a single andrew vaughn over three and the bottom of the order is messing us up right here please god just get out of it stolen base that's fine please god get out of it Walk, that's not what I need. Just like that, you're gone. Josh Hader, please, God. This is why I pay you so much money. Get out of it. Ronald struck out. Matt Olson. Oh, my God. That was so electric. Guys, please score an insurance run, please. Oh, my goodness. Of course not. All right. Austin Riley, single. Not great. Ozzy Albies. Struck out. That's fine. Marcelo Zuna. Fly out. Sean Murphy. Single. Holy crap. I'm going in. I'm sorry. I'm going in. I have to. Oh, my. My heart is going crazy. Come on, hater. I need something. I need something nice. We cannot give this guy anything to hit because Max freaking Muncy can do some damage. And there we go. Got him with the one-two. Come on. Give him something garbage. Slider out of the zone. Make it look nice. That looks nice. There we are. Going to game seven. We got a chance right here, guys. We have a chance. I need all the hype in the comments. I need everything. Also, if you guys haven't already, leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below. Come 
come on. I need all the good luck right here. Game seven of the World Series versus the Braves. And we got Kopik right now going up. If anything goes wrong, Dylan Cease is going in immediately. Guys, I need a great start here as that's two straight singles for Michael Kopik. Good choice. Get out of it, please. There we are. Double play. But I need a great start from this lineup. There we go, Gavin Sheets. That's a triple. Joey Bart struck out. Andrew Vaughn. There we are. That's a run. Just don't let him score. There we are. Nice job. Just keep adding, guys. Keep adding. There we are, Eloy. It's only two, though. Gavin Sheets with a double. Oh, my gosh. Joey Bart with the single runners in the corners. Andrew Vaughn struck out. Jonathan India. Fielder's choice. Not great. Young Makata. We didn't score anything. That's not great. Michael Kopik, you are already going down quite a bit. Please just get out of the inning. And oh, man, that's two guys on. Jake Fraley. That's a walk. Base is juiced. All right, you're done. Throwing the lefty. Aaron Bummer has a nine air right. Again, that would have been nice to know, coach. I appreciate it. Please, God. There we are. Fly out. Holy crap. Score some more runs. There we are. Just like I said it. We need some more insurance, all right? With this Braves team, I don't even feel good with three runs. I need five at least. Gavin Sheets. Three round bomb. Oh my gosh. Gavin is a single away from the cycle in game seven of the World Series. My dude is an animal. And just like that, Vaughn hits a bomb. All right, Aaron Bummer. That was nice out of you. I will see you later, my boy bro i cannot believe gavin sheets a single okay lou bob gavin sheets i gotta go in with you i have to get this cycle the fact this dude's about to hit a cycle in game seven of the world series is mind-blowing got the triple he's got the double and he's got the home run and i do not care i'm contact swinging i do not want to hit a home run i want this single so bad Here we go, Gavin. Top of the ninth. This is the time that I need this single right here. That was almost a bomb. All right. Don't need that. We desperately need this single so bad. Please, baby. Please. Okay. That was a little too far in. That's fine. Just got to get it out of the infield and just go straight to first base. Okay. That's it. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, my God. Please. No. 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 <laughs> Ronald, come on, dude. I cannot believe that. Either way, Dylan sees versus Michael Harris. Let's just get it going. Still, though, Gavin Sheets. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Guys, I've played this game before. I don't need fielding tutorials, coach. I don't. Okay, maybe I do. Because, bro, that messes you up so bad. I was in a nice little flow right there. And that tutorial just straight up stops you. And then after that, you have no freaking clue how fast that meter is going to go up or how slow it's going to go up. So, coach, always screw me over. I hate you so much. Dylan Cease, though, I like you a lot. So, please finish off this game. Let's go. 3-1. That's a 3-2. Full count. I need to give this dude something disgusting. I'm talking best pitch of the year right here. Slider. That was definitely not it. But, oh, my God, we got him. That was probably my worst pitch of the year. But we still did it. Chicago. Chicago in 2024 taking that world series i told you guys they got a good team but for some reason they're just not bought in or something but gavin sheets my freaking my guy holy crap home run triple double three rbis what a stud that's what i'm talking about i love that storybook ending white Sox fans this one was for you